We're already in our final quantities, and I think that's because it's so cute. Look at it. How could you pass it up? Appropriately titled Mary Mushing. H263831 is your item number. We have 300 to go around with that $18 easy pay, and we've got a $28 savings with our sale price. Jim, when I see this, I instantly think of like looking at the map where you could see like where Santa was with my parents as a little kid and that image that I would have in my mind of like Santa with the dogs and the sleigh and then they'd be like and I think they were maybe kind of fudging it a little bit he's close you have to go to bed <laughs> <laughs> well Vanessa you know I feel the same way you know we when I was growing up you know there was a lot of imagery that we would bring out uh, you know to celebrate Christmas <clears throat> and we would do the decorating and everything and, and the image of Santa Claus doing what he does, which is what I tried to capture in a piece like this, where it's sort of a, it's kind of a snapshot in time of something that is a little bit of a departure from what you think of typically Santa Claus getting where he's going. But, uh, you know, in the, in the North, you know, the dog sleds and everything are so prevalent that I just thought it would be an uh, a interesting mix of, of imagery to have Santa Claus and he's mushing the the uh, the you know the the sled dogs forward with the sleigh full of everything that Santa Claus normally brings to brings to all of us. Now it, it's a good example too of uh, of my styling. You know, there's a little bit of something there that represents everything that I put into a, a you know a normal piece. While I'm known as kind of a folk artist, you know, this is a good example of of that where the the carving and so forth isn't quite taken to the finished uh, surface. It's the the, the uh, facets of the carving are still there, where the dry brushing creates a visual texture. And as you can see, whereas in folk art, typically they're very static. In my pieces, even though it's a folk art style, it's dynamic. It's movement. It's uh, you can see the dogs going forward. You can imagine him, you know sliding and gliding through the snow and calling out and uh, and the the wind you know in his beard and all of that sort of thing denotes movement and that's uh, that's kind of what I was trying to accomplish here and you got the expression on his face he's ready to come and unload that sleigh in front of somebody's Christmas tree. Yes, and hopefully we're all like, oh, I hope it's my tree. I even love, I think this is my favorite feature, Jim, is the teddy bear. Like, I kind of want to be this teddy bear who's along for the ride, like trying to hang on. I think that it's such a cute little detail. <laughs> like, you that know, the is, face on the teddy bear. <laughs> that is Button the teddy bear. He's another, he's another character of mine, actually, that I use quite a bit. And I've got some standalone pieces of that little character, but when it comes to him, uh, you know, rounding out the things that Santa Claus uh, brings to you, I always include him when I'm whether it's a Christmas tree or a, a toy bag or what have you. So he's uh, he's one of the pieces that is with me frequently. I love Button the Teddy Bear, and I kind of want to be Button the Teddy Bear as we're <laughs> enjoying this piece. I want to remind you that we are in our final quantities. It's never been on air before, but although it's just kind of been on QVC.com, it's been pretty popular. So we don't have a lot to go around. 250 left to go around. So if you love to have this on your mantle, on your console table, a piece that you look forward to bringing out every single day, please take advantage of that $18 easy pay. If you're a collector, I mean, what a joy to have in your collection. But if you're new to Jim Shore, what a lovely piece to start your collection with. And Jim, for anyone who's just meeting you, you've been doing art for a long time. It's kind of like in your blood, your parents were artists. Can you tell us a little bit about your style and your story for anyone who's new to your collection? Well, I've been, uh, you know, it, it was obvious when I was just a little kid that I had an unusual artistic ability, okay? And I was with my folks. They were, they appreciated that because they were artistic too. So they created a, an environment that was an excellent place for a young budding artist to grow up in. Uh, my grandmother, she was a, uh, a master quilter and very artistic herself, and I use a lot of her quilt patterns in my pieces. You know, we have a wonderful collection of vintage quilts, and, and it's, uh, it's one of those elements that, that t is part of the storytelling, and, it's, and so I use that. I use the, uh, the, the European-influenced 
uh, elements of folk art, which in the States, we refer to it as Pennsylvania Dutch. And, and, but it's all, it all emanates from Europe right over here. So it's, it's a combination of, uh, of elements and so forth that go together to make up my style. But that's, that's where it comes from. Uh, it's beautifully done. I think this is going to be a favorite in your collection. H263831 is your item number if you'd like to continue shopping for that. Don't forget about our new Angel and Santa we shopped for just a little while.